We are back with another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg, and in this episode, Prince Henry and Princess Alice are on their honeymoon. Um, so as you can see, they're still in their bride, br bride, bridal, psh, wedding dress. Uh, I almost said bridal dress. Um, and of course, Prince Henry is in his tux. Um, so we decided to go on a honeymoon in um, El Salvado. I always want to say like El Dorado or something, which I'm pretty sure is what this is based off of. Um, so why don't we have them like skinny dip together or something um i'm also gonna be honest i don't think they woohooed yet i don't think i ever made them woohoo i just didn't cross my mind um so whenever they do i'm pretty sure it's gonna be their first time um so i mean i didn't i mean they waited till marriage for each other that's like a huge deal so we are at this little like romantic villa um and i'm not going to like focus to like we're not gonna have them if you have this game and know of it you know that there's like the whole adventure stuff with it Probably not going to have them do all that just because that's not really what the focus is for this series. Um, but I am, so I added like a, um, so okay, they can skinny dip for a little bit, but we're actually going to go out to dinner. Um, hopefully they change before they go to dinner because I really don't want them to show up naked. Um, but I replaced a few of the lots with a restaurant and with a spa. So we're going to go to the restaurant first. Um, and then we'll probably go to the spa after that. So we are now at the restaurant, and I actually haven't been here even yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing it. For this, why don't we go ahead and just ask for a table first. Um, so we'll request a table, and we'll see what else there is here. I'm so glad they changed. Like, they are in, like, not in their wedding outfits, and they're also not in just the nude anymore. They even have a dance floor here. That's really cute. They could totally have parties and stuff here. Oh, that's such a good idea. I didn't even think about that because I throw like birthday parties at some of the restaurants sometimes, but they should definitely have a dance floor I could put into the restaurant too. I will definitely do that when they get back. Um, and I'm going to also try to show in this episode Princess Cora um, or maybe even Princess Anna just flirting a little bit more with their romantic interests. Um, just so you guys don't have to like just focus on on the honeymoon, even though that is the title of the video, but whatever. Um, so we are going to have them request for a table. And I mean, they're only spending like two days here, but I just think that it's definitely necessary to have a royal honeymoon and getaway. I, I should have put them, you know what, it would have made so much more sense to put them in like a really, really nice place here. But I think just because, why is all this food on the floor? What is that? What is that? Well, I guess it's, did he drop his food? <gasps> I've never seen that happen. If this waiter just dropped his food, oh my gosh. That sucks. Okay, so I just saw some paparazzi. It looks like some guy is already trying to take pictures of Prince Henry. So why don't we just ask them to leave? And hopefully they will leave. And if they don't, we'll have to bribe them to leave. So it looks like we're being seated upstairs. Ooh, this is so romantic. Oh my gosh, this is so romantic, guys. It's like the only table up here too. There's even a violin for someone to play up here. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Uh oh, it looks like Princess Alice is getting bit by mosquitoes. Okay, here's your table. Thank you. All right, this paparazzi is going to... What are you even taking pictures of? There's no one there. This paparazzi is not very bright. Okay, so we'll have him order for table. I'm not going to have them to spend too much time here. We're going to check out the spa as well. Um, and then, obviously, they need to... Oh, yep, okay, he's not too happy with the paparazzi. <laughs> oh, gosh, he's, like, telling him off. So, we're going to order food for the table. Um, I don't know, should we try for a baby already? I guess we could. I mean, they are young adults. Might as well try for a baby. I feel like that they would be... I don't know if they would be pressured to produce an heir already. Ooh, why don't we get, like, the love potion for both of them? That's very fitting. Okay, so main course, is, was this the, no, that's the appetizers. This is the main course. Um, well, if this is recommended, why don't we get that for both of them? Okay, so they can order their food. Um, so this is just super romantic. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, gosh, I love this. I wish that, like, the Sims didn't have to go on vacation to get a view like this because it's just, like, a lot of trouble to take the days off and then have the Sims be on vacation but no one else. So this is super, super cool. Ah, uh, I mean, okay, I'm not gonna lie though, that centerpiece is huge. Did they, I feel like they must have blown that up. Is the centerpiece that big? I don't remember those candles being that big. 
That is so big. You can barely even see the person across from you. <laughs> I don't know how romantic that's going to be. But, yeah, okay, so we'll definitely, like, they'll have their food, and then they can go. Yeah, we're. I think we should try for a baby, especially since it's on their honeymoon. They might as well. Um, for them, I guess, like, I know for the Royal Sims Challenge or whatever, there is one. But apparently when you woohoo, you, like, always have to try for a baby. Um, so, I mean, this, I guess, is more of a modern take on, on them. Like, well, I don't know, because some of the beliefs I have of, like, the, the male heir supposed to be the, the next heir. Um, but I guess for them, it is modern, but half. I don't know. I'm kind of, like, in our own little world here. So I know that a lot of the rules I haven't been following for actual, like, history. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I like making our own rules. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. This really looks like Pandora from Avatar or something. Just like with a lot less crazy plants. And you can even see like the villa across the way, like over the brick wall, not brick wall, um, stone wall looking thing. This is just super, super pretty. Oh, okay. All right, I'm done. Um, so they are ordering their food. Um, but why don't we, eh, I don't even know. They, they can, yeah, okay. So it's going to take some time to do that. So why don't we flirt with each other for a little bit? We'll probably just go ahead to the spa soon. Um, and then we can, actually, I don't know. Maybe we should just, I think the spa could be for another day. I think that after dinner, yeah, okay, so it's 4 a.m. So after dinner, they're probably just going to go... Oh, I should have asked her on a date. I didn't even realize that. Um, but yeah, they're probably just going to go back to the villa, spend some alone time together, and since they're here for a few days, they can go to the spa another day. Um, but we will probably switch to Princess Cora after this, after they try for a baby or something. So can we just, like, speed through this so they can get their food? Because I don't, like, I don't really want to leave without getting their food. I'm just going to, I'm. we're going to, like, I, I'll have them eat their food, but we're going to skip through that so you guys don't have to, don't have to watch all. So we are back at our little villa. This is just, it has like such a romantic vibe. And I know it's really small, um, but I like it. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't think it needs to be very big, especially if there's two people. Like if it was their whole family, we would totally get something more luxurious and, and bigger. But since it's not, I just figured we might as well just, just get that. So we are going to have them a skinny dip again. Um, I should have had them bring, oh, I should have put a, a hot tub on here. I don't know why they don't have that. Is this supposed to be a pond or is it a pool? It's so, like, it looks so empty. It, it looks like it doesn't have much of a purpose. Um, so they are going to skinny dip together. Um, and then we definitely want to go ahead and try for a baby, too. So we can flirt in the pool together. Um, I guess they can't really woohoo in the pool. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that has to be, like, in a hot tub is when they would. So they can... He can, oh, he can recite love poetry in the pool. That's adorable. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to zoom in because they're skinny dipping. I just realized that. Um, so they are going to flirt together in the pool. And then I think we will just go ahead and try for a baby. Why does that give them fame if they be, is it because the other person's famous? That's so weird. Why would trying for a baby and woohooing give them more fame points? It's so interesting. Okay. So they are naked, um, and they're going to go ahead and woohoo on the bed. So this is going to be their first time. That's actually really shocking. I don't know how. I didn't even realize that before. I just, I don't know why I'm just, oh, okay. I thought these were just, like, giant vines, but they're actually, like, the, the palm trees with vines on it. Is this, like, a bush or something? That's really cool. That's so interesting. Okay, so they are they going to woohoo? Are they no, they're just chatting. Can they not go upstairs or something? Can you what about here? Can you try for a baby here? They're just they're sitting in the middle of their jungle naked. Um so why don't you go ahead and try for a baby together? Because you guys are on your honeymoon and it's super romantic. They're both very flirty. Like they're obviously super Why are you jumping back in the pool? Why aren't you trying for a baby? This is strange. Oh, no, they are trying for a baby. They just have to go that way? Oh, okay, I guess because the ladder is that way. This is really confusing. They just jumped in together at the same time. That's so funny. 
I'm so glad that Sims can get out without ladders now. <laughs> um, just because I know it was a problem in previous Sims. But I guess, like, people might be upset that they can't kill their Sim with a pool now. But there are plenty of other ways to kill your Sim, so don't worry, guys. Okay, so they are going to try for a baby, and we will have to see if Princess Alice is pregnant. Um, I guess, I don't know, maybe I'll wait to see if she is pregnant. You guys might have to find that out at the last episode, or the next episode. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So they'll, they'll try for a baby, um, and then we are going to go ahead and skip to Princess Cora, um, because she for sure is just like, I don't know. I, I, I'm debating Princess Cora or Princess Anna. I think Princess Cora, it's probably time for her and Prince Edmund to go on a date. Um, I'm not going to show that this episode, but we're probably just going to try to have a little bit more progress with them. Okay, so they are done woohooing, so you guys will just have to wait and see in the next episode if she's pregnant. So we're going to go ahead and switch our control over to Princess Cora. Okay, so we are back at the Windenburg Palace. It looks like it must be a really hot day because everyone is in their warm weather outfits. So I think Princess Anna needs like a hat or, or something. Um, so, oh, it looks like Princess Anna is actually supposed to be going to school, but did she do her homework because she... Oh, I guess, oh no, that's, that's Princess Cora's homework. Did Princess Cora take Princess Anna's homework? I think she did. Okay, so why don't we give... Oh, nope, can I... Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so Princess Anna, sorry, um, Princess Anna needs to do her homework, um, and then Prince jo or King George, excuse me, he can go to work. How old is he now? Is he, he's getting like pretty much to the end of, of his life. I realized also, I told you guys that Queen Isabel was going to be an elder by now. I totally forgot to age her up. Um, she is, I didn't realize how much younger she is than King George. I never knew that, um, but she, I don't know, she's got, yeah, she's got a long time before she's an elder, so I don't know, we'll have to see, maybe she will be um, an adult for quite a while. Okay, so Princess Cora, we're going to have her invite over Prince Edmund, so they can chat a little bit, and then we have Princess uh, Anna, she is doing her homework, so she needs to go ahead and do that. Um, and then why don't we have, like, the king and queen or someone help her because she doesn't have much time before she has to go to school. So we're going to have them help because there's no way she can do this all by herself. I realize we also have the cake here. So this was actually the cake from Princess Cora's birthday. So I know I didn't show, like, a birthday party or anything just because there are so many birthday party episodes that we have in this series. I don't know why I thought it was important to show you guys all of them, but it's probably not that important. So... We don't, we don't have to do that. So now Princess Cora, of course, is a young, young adult. And then she invited Prince Edmund over, but it might take him some time to get here. So Prince Edmund, let's see, is he like coming from all the way over there? He might be. Okay, so King George is off to work. Queen Isabel is helping uh, Princess Anna with her homework. And then I think react in disgust to what? What happened? That's interesting. Okay, so Princess Cora is uh, hanging out with Prince Edmund. They are playing Don't Wait to the Llama together. Okay, I swear, every time I see Princess Cora's face and Princess Anna's face, I cannot get over how pretty they are. <laughs> I know I say that all the time, but they're just so gorgeous, I can't take it. So they are playing Don't Wait the Llama. Oh, it looks like Prince Edmund has lost. So we're going to just chat a little bit. They are kind of friends. It looks like... They don't really have too much of a friendship, um, but they just, like, there's this huge attraction between them. So I don't think of it so much as they don't have a friendship, but more of, like, they just don't know each other very well. So they just need to get get to know each other a little bit better. Um, and it looks like they, oh, Princess Eliza. Oh, uh, well, that, that's her favorite aunt. Prin Marquis Eliza is, like, just the best aunt ever to these kids. Um, she's such a good mentor for all of them. She honestly, I mean, like, the, the girls look like her, I think, a lot. So that is their father's sister. Um, but, so, it looks like they, they're definitely playing a while, but why don't we just, you guys, yeah, okay. So our cue is full. So I think they're just going to, I guess, play until one of them loses, but I think we're going to try to go on a date with 
Prince Edmund. Oh my gosh, it is like a scorching hot day. So wherever we go, we are definitely going to have to be indoors because there is just this huge heat wave going on. But, okay, so we are going to try to flirt with him a little bit more, um, and then hopefully we can get them onto a date. Um, and why? Ugh, the queue is, seriously, it's full. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to try to get them onto a date, um, and then the date is going to have to be the next episode, because I don't want to spend too much time more on this episode. But it looks like our um, Princess, uh, ugh, Princess Alice, ooh, I'm going to have to change her last name. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so Queen Isabel, we've tried style of things, interstellar opportunity, what would you like to be? Uh, no, no, we're okay. The Queen is going to stay a politician because that is what they do. Okay, so it looks like they've chatted a little bit. They're still playing the game, even though it says they're not really playing. But why don't we, can we go ahead and ask him? Okay, we're going to ask him out on a date. And hopefully he says yes. Why is Princess Core sad? She she lost? Really? I swear it looked like... No, yeah. It looks like Prince Edmund is the one who's losing. Alright, are we just going to have to reset them? Because it looks like Prince Edmund is so much more into this game. Okay, did he finally... He's Okay, he stopped playing. Okay, good. So, we're going to ask him on a date. And then we will see... Come on, why is this... All right, yeah, okay. And I know I said, like, we wanted to take a little bit more time um, with Prince Edmund, just because Princess Cora has just gotten out of a really long-term relationship, but I think that there is just this really huge attraction with them, and they're young adults now, so, I mean, they're, like, not getting any younger, so I think they're definitely going to have to start dating. Um, and that I guess, like, they wouldn't have to be in a relationship for too long, especially if they're, like, betrothed to each other by their parents, but... Yeah, okay, we'll see. So we are actually going to end this episode here, and for the next episode, we can focus and just start from here for their date. And you guys will also get to see, maybe in the next episode, maybe the episode after, if Princess Alice is pregnant. So for that, that's going to be a huge deal, because that, I mean, would be like the future, future heir to the throne. Um, so that's also going to be a big deal. Um, but for the next episode, yes, we will focus on the date of Princess Princess Cora and Prince Edmund. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video and series with your friends. Please comment anything that you have, like suggestions or questions even, because I know things get really confusing. So uh, for the next few episodes, we'll definitely focus more on the royal family of Windenburg. And then maybe in a few more episodes, we'll focus on some of the other families so you guys can see a little bit more progress with them as well. But we will see you guys the next episode.